Hello and good morning everyone. Welcome to DSS online classes. This is Roli Ma'am here for science class. And students, today we are going to discuss again the chemical effects of electric current. Earlier uh, in our last uh, uh, class, we have studied about the other two effects of the electric current and these were heating effect of the electric current and magnetic effect of the electric current. Now we will study about the chemical effect of electric current. What is this chemical effect? So whenever electric current is passed through a solution which is conductor or conducting solution, whenever electric current is passed through a conducted solution, then what happens inside the this solution what happens so let's check for doing that we have to make again a arrange this uh, circuit and arrange this setup we have to do it and what we did in this setup let's check we have taken a battery combination of cell which is known as battery so a battery and then connected with connecting wire and we have to take two cells and uh, take out the carbon rod this is the carbon rod of that cell we have to remove it out make it clean with the help of sandpaper and its metal cap uh, is uh, here which should be cleaned very carefully and then wrap uh, copper wire over this metal cap and uh, connect these carbon rods with the connecting wire and then uh, take a plastic cup or bowl or a trough and 3 by 4 fill it with water add some of the lemon juice or uh, washing powder or any of the salt to make it more conductor now you just insert these carbon rods in this solution and be careful that metal caps should be over the solution you have to be careful about that now what happens electric current will pass from positive terminal and move to this carbon rod and then it is a conducting solution so it will move from this carbon rod to that and then again to the negative terminal of the battery then what happens during this passing of electric current and that is the chemical effect of current. So at first carbon rod which is connected to the positive terminal of the electrode, this carbon rod will be called anode because it will attract negatively charged ions. Being a positive electrode it will attract negatively charged ions and the carbon rod which is connected with the negative terminal of the battery will call will be called cathode because it will attract cations a positively charged ions so please uh, remember that this will act as a cathode and anode Anode is the terminal or electrode. These two carbon rods are electrodes on which uh, substances separated out from the chemicals will be deposited. I will show you how it will be possible. But at first carbon rod which is connected to the positive terminal of the battery will be known as anode and terminal electrode which is connected to the negative terminal of the battery will be called cathode so that is the main difference one more term is here first one is cation and second one is anion cation is the positively charged ion and anion is the negatively charged ion so that was the simple terms uh, which uh, arise during watching this chemical effect now whenever electric current pass through this uh, setup what happens that on these two electrodes cathode and anode 
some bubbles of gases are formed and deposited so uh, these gases after testing these gases is were found that on the on this electrode negative terminal which is known as cathode hydrogen gas was deposited and on the positive terminal uh, yeah, electrode which is connected with the positive terminal which is known as anode uh, yeah, oxygen gas was deposited so how uh, it happened let's check so students now we will observe we will check what happens during this passing of electric current through the conducting solution and how these bubbles of the gases are formed on their electrodes which are cathode and anode william nicolson sir a great uh, scientist found it out so let's check whenever electric current is passed through the acidified water why it is acidified because we have added lemon juice in that water now we have to arrange this setup again we have to take a battery and with the help of connecting wires two electrodes are immersed into the acidified water now uh, after connecting this overall setup the current moves from the positive terminal of the battery to the this wire and then it passes through this solution and reaches to the negative terminal now what happens inside this conducting solution so what when electric current reaches to the acidified water then water will break into its ions these are hydrogen ion and hydroxide ions hydrogen ions being be the positively charged ion it is known as cation and hydroxide ion being a negatively charged ion it will be known as anion so these ions are formed after passing of electric current whenever these ions are formed will be formed they will reach to their respective electrode now cation will move to the cathode because cation is already positively charged and cathode is connected to the negative terminal of the battery so electrode which is connected to the negative terminal of the battery is called cathode so cathode on the cathode hydrogen ion will reach here and on the anode anion will reach here because anode is connected to the positive terminal of the battery and naturally being positively charged it will attract negatively charged ions so hydroxide ion will reach to the anode now whenever these ions are reach to their respective electrodes they want to free, uh, make them free from these charges and in order to complete their requirement in order to make them uh, stable they will lose their charges and in this in this process four hydroxide ion during this uh, process four hydroxide ions come uh, collectively lose four electrons and form two water molecules and one oxygen molecule one oxygen molecule two water molecule and four electron will be released now look at the figure again two water molecule already they will get mixed into this water then one oxygen naturally it will move out from the anode oxygen is a gas and it will move from out from the anode so oxygen gas bubbles will be present here now now you can see the bubbles of oxygen on the anode which is already formed in this reaction now again what will happen that these four electrons are released into then this hydrogen ion is positively charged and it wants to it to uh, wants to be free from its charge so in order to get uh, relaxation from this charge it will attract these electrons which are thrown in the 
it will catch these electrons and two hydrogens and iron in a combined way attract two electrons and form hydrogen gas. This is also a gas and this is shown by the word arrow. It indicates that given substance is gas. And again two more hydrogens and iron because four electrons are released and here only two electrons are utilized by two hydrogens and ions. Then at this time, at the same time, two more hydrogens and ions will catch two more electrons here and then one more molecule of hydrogen gas will be formed. In this process, two hydrogen molecules will be formed on the cathode. Two hydrogen molecules will be formed on the cathode with the release of one oxygen molecule on the anode. So, if four bubbles are here of oxygen gas, then eight bubbles will be here of hydrogen gas. So, in just double quantity, hydrogen gas will be released because as I have shown here that hydrogen gas will be double in the quantity of oxygen in comparison to the oxygen. So, I hope it is clear to you. So, the hydrogen gas will be formed on cathode. Hydrogen gas will be formed on cathode and oxygen gas will be released from anode. It is clear. So, this process is going on. Now, now Electric 